The invisible punishing machine is everywhere, creeping into my body, life, and spaces. It feels like a colossal architecture nightmare. In 1997, my brother was charged with a prison sentence for 15 years to life in California. And in addition to witnessing his mental deterioration, also my mother and I have come to accumulate many of his belongings. Every time he has been transferred to another prison to serve time in isolation, or he is placed in less dangerous environments, he has been forced to send his belongings to us. For example, in this picture, the bundle is wrapped around with my brother's shirt. This shirt came to my position in 2007 when he was transferred from Concord State Prison to serve two years in isolation for misconduct. And since then, I carry it with me. Now, why did I come to Philadelphia? For a long time, I've been interested in the genesis of the prison system. And in my research, I have found that at this site, known as the Longest Street Jail, for the first time, architects created a corridor with single prison cells to place prisoners in prolonged isolation. And this model of imprisonment will be the blueprint for the construction of the Eastern State Penitentiary, or internationally known as the Pennsylvania Penitentiary System. 1865, 13th Amendment. And slavery was abolished except as a punishment for crime. Therefore, slavery hasn't been abolished. And if we compare these two figures, in the census of 1860, we had almost four million slaves Today, we have almost seven million enslaved under the custody of the state. When the prison knows that it's a person there that nobody cares about, they're not getting any letters, they're not getting any phone calls, they're not getting any visits. They do whatever they want to do to that prison, up to and including killing that person if they feel like it. HRC has found out that if a prisoner calls us and complains and we call the prison on their behalf, they back off. The same activity that they left from in the first place because when they were away for 10, 20, 30 years, they didn't get the proper guidance treatment, education, and the list goes on and on and on and on. My oldest son, he went to jail when he was 15 or 16. But when he came home, like, he still couldn't get a job. He still couldn't go to, back to school to get a GED, which he didn't have a GED. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was stuck, so he wound up going back in the street, and now he's back in jail. Now he's in Albion, doing seven more years. In my field work, I have found, right in the middle of the heaviest concentration of returning citizens, a monument to the abolitionist movement in the form of the Fair Hill Burial Grounds. And at this site, there are more than 100 members of the Pennsylvania Abolitionist Society buried. For example, two prominent leaders of the Times are here. Black uh, businessman Robert Purvis, who was the president of the Underground Railroad, and white Baker Lucretia Mott, who worked arduously for the women, Native Americans, and immigrant civil rights. And I'm so excited to have found this place. 
And in order to tackle with this invisible punish machine, the habitus of control, here is a brainstorm I did with my comrades last year. It introduces the idea of how we can engage with the community, especially to use in outdoor creative activities. And this summer, I founded Spark Makers. It's a portable thinkery lab where um, I'm providing hands-on activities that integrate art and design, thinking in combination with science, technology, and activism. And it is founded on the principle of thinkering, which combines the words thinking and tinkering. And this is like this is like what a, a thinkering event looks like. And right across from the barrier grounds, I want to create a thinkering space for spark makers. And at this place, this will be a harbor for sharing skills, preparing thinkering events learning about the liberation history of Philadelphia from the abolitionists to the liberation movement to end mass incarceration, engage in the environmental justice initiatives, and much more. And lastly, here's a short video of the summer festival I helped design last year. This is too And the place where I want to continue. I'm trying to find the... Oh, oh there it is. It's cool. That one looks right there.